All right, so we talked about method one for graphing a parabola being more of a visual method. We can recognize the transformations and apply them in order where really we're taking the key points visually, compressing them, stretching them, reflecting them, and translating them. Method two is more algebraic. So if you wish, showing your work amounts to showing how each of the points changes, each of the coordinates literally changes algebraically with respect to each transformation. So what we do is we still start off with the same set of key points. So our standard points here are uh, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 0 for the vertex at the origin, 1, 1, and uh, 2, 4. Once we have those points, what we do is we consider the image. And in this case, you will hear this in the, the textbook as well. Um, the image of each point as we apply different transformations. So the first thing we're gonna start off with um, after each transformation is we're gonna start off with the, uh, the value of A just like we did before. So we're gonna take the value of A being two and because A is equal to two, what that means uh, visually, even we think back to that in green, what we did was we we uh, vertically stretched the problem. Well, that means all the y coordinates ended up doubling, right? The origin remained where it was, everything else. X stayed the same and y doubled. So what we do is we take the x, y coordinate. Since the x stays the same, we're just gonna copy the x value, but instead of the y value remaining the same, now we're gonna double it, which means basically we take the value of two and we multiply all the y coordinates by two. So this just algebraically does the same thing. Notice that the x coordinates are all gonna be the same. But for the y coordinates now, we double them. So 4 times 2 is 8, 1 times 2 is 2, 0 times 2 is still 0, 1 times 2 is 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. So that's the effect of the first transformation. Then we look at what we considered next, h equal to 3. So we notice that in the equation, once again, x minus 3 meant that h was... Um, that was positive three. So what that did, we said that translated our parabola horizontally three units to the right. What that means is that it's not moving anything vertically. So our coordinates, the y coordinates are gonna remain the same. So the two y values that we had are gonna remain there. They're not gonna change. So really what that means is we're gonna take all of these y values and keep them the same. However, what does change is that because we're translating the parabola three units to the right, we're taking the x value and we're adding three to each x value. So here we say that this is x plus three, and now we have the two y copied where we had it before. So negative two plus three is positive one. The eight remains the same. Negative one plus three is positive two. The two remains the same. Zero plus three is three. Y coordinate remains the same. And then um, the remaining ones. And we can see that the X coordinates are all in order now. Okay, and those all align with the points in blue in our graph. And last but not least, we said that K was equal to negative four. So the last step, you could imagine where we're going here, means we're gonna take the X values that we had and they're gonna remain the same. So all the x coordinates are at the same location. Now the two y values, or the value of y that's been doubled, is now going to drop by four. So since we're translating this downward, it means we're gonna subtract four from all the y values. So once again, x value stays the same, y value is four less than it was. So there are x values negative four, negative two, and in this case, uh, eight minus four is four. So we should notice that each of these points corresponds to one of the points on our final parabola here. And that's what we notice. So here's the point five, four, the point four, negative two is right here and so on. Okay, so now all we need to do in terms of showing work 
our job is done. We've got the table, that's the work shown. Now we can go ahead and plot these points and that's what I'm gonna do here. So this amounts simply to taking the last column and when we look at that last column now, making sure we plot the points for that column. So one, four, two, negative two, three, negative four, four, negative two, and five, four. And we have those points. We can draw a parabola through them. As always, you should label your graph with the equation of your parabola. So in this case, once again, it's the same thing, y equals two x minus three squared minus four. Okay, so in terms of showing work on an assignment, really important, either your graph illustrates the separate steps. You should see multiple parabolas, one for each um, step along the way. If there's an A value that's also um, reflecting or rather has a reflection component, then that means you have to have an extra step as well. Either show that for work, or if you are gonna do it this route, second option is make sure you include the table.